Good evening once again. That tense scene unfolded today in the same area where two men drowned just months ago. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller tells us tonight, a boater who happened to be nearby is now being called a hero. Holy <laughs> There's a boat right there. This is good. Hey! Dramatic moments in the Niagara River. A man fights to keep his head above water, the current sweeping him under. All caught on camera, a nearby boat spots the man and he grabs hold of the bottom to save his life. Brian Marshevsky was taking a time lapse photo when he saw something bobbing in the water. I just saw a guy going by. He was really calm, not making a lot of noise, just trying to looks like preserve his energy. He says he then saw first responders going in the other direction. I sent my girlfriend to go tell them it's this way and ran and kept up with them. A rescue boat working near the Peace Bridge responded first and pulled the man to safety. This is the same spot where Buffalo Police Officer Craig Lehner drowned last October and two other men lost their lives in June. The Niagara River is no spot to swim, but first responders say there was a language barrier and this man went in to cool off and couldn't read the no swimming signs. He was plenty fatigued, so he didn't have too much time left. The guy was completely exhausted at that point, so that man grabbed his, a hold of his hand. The guy was like done at that point, but he kept holding his hand and so, you know, turned the boat around and got him to the ladder and got him on board. Pulled him to safety. Yes, it was amazing. That guy's a hero. Now that man has been taken to ECMC for an evaluation tonight. Fire officials say it's possible that there needs to be better signage explaining that there should be no swimming in this portion of the Niagara River and that's something that could be worked out in the coming weeks. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you, Hannah.